Hey guys, this is Isabel from Cognito Forms, and today I'm going to show you how to create coupons and other types of discounts on your payment forms. I'll guide you through several different scenarios to help you learn how to set up discounts, and I'll also give you some tips to use them effectively. For this demonstration, I'm using the basic sales form template, which is already set up with all the fields I need to collect payments, including a repeating section with product information and quantity. I also added a currency calculation field that computes the item total by multiplying the product price by the quantity. To begin, I'm going to create a very basic coupon that will apply a discount whenever a customer enters a specific code. This process is pretty simple. Start by adding a text box field to your form, label it coupon code or whatever works for you. Then you want to find the show custom error option in the bottom of your text box field settings and select when. Here, I'll set an error message to display when customers don't enter the correct code. In this case, the code is save 10, and the error message is invalid code. The next step is to calculate the discount. To do this, add a price field to your form, label it discount, then open up the amounts section. For this calculation, we'll use an if-then statement to subtract $10 from the order total if the coupon code is save 10. One thing to note here is that our calculation is case sensitive, so if your coupon code is in all caps, your customer will need to enter it in all caps. However, as an easy workaround, you can also set your text box field to automatically capitalize any lowercase letters. To do this, go to the default value of your text box field settings and enter the following. This syntax means that if the coupon code is not blank, then reformat it all to uppercase. Also, you can optionally hide your discount price field from view by setting it to internal view only. Now let's take a look at our form preview. When we apply the correct coupon code, even using lowercase letters, it reformats it to uppercase and provides a $10 discount. And when we enter an invalid code, you just see an error message. That's pretty much the gist of creating coupons, but there are tons of ways to customize these calculations to fit your needs. For example, instead of discounting a static amount like $10, you can also apply a discount based on the percentage of the order total. To do this, you'll need to update the discount calculation of your price field. Instead of subtracting 10, subtract 0.1, or whatever your percentage is, times the order total. To calculate the order total, you'll need to add up all the fields on your form that are collecting payment. If your field has a repeating section like mine, you can quickly target the payment fields using the sum property. In my case, we can type in the name of the repeating section, which is called my order, followed by dot sum with item total in parentheses. Now when we take a look at our form, we'll see the discount takes 10% off the order total. Once you have your coupon code and discount field set up, it's easy to add additional codes. All you need to do is continue your if-then statement, making sure to update the new code with a different discount or percentage if necessary. In this case, my new code is save 20 and my new discount is 20%. Also make sure to update the custom error option in your discount code settings to include the new code. One last coupon code scenario I'd like to highlight is the ability to limit the number of times that a code can be used. Using our quantity limits feature, you can limit the number of times a specific value may be entered or selected on the form. For example, if you set a quantity limit for a specific coupon code to 20, that code can only be used 20 times, and then the 21st customer will see your custom error message. To set a quantity limit on your coupons, start by selecting your coupon code text box, then find Limit Quantity in the field settings and select Specific Quantity. Next, you'll need to specify the quantity limit for each coupon code using an if-then statement. In this case, the quantity limit for save 10 will be 3, 
and the quantity limit for save 20 will be 5. Lastly, make sure to write a custom error message that'll appear when the quantity is exceeded. I went ahead and submitted three entries to this form, all of which included the coupon code SAVE10. So if I try to enter SAVE10 on this entry, an appropriate error message will appear. However, if we enter SAVE20, there's still some quantity remaining. If you'd like to learn more about quantity limits, be sure to check out our video and help topic. Now that we've covered coupon codes, Let's talk about applying basic discounts. Discounts are a bit more straightforward than coupons because all you really need to do is add a price field to your form. Then you can set the amount of that price field depending on the kind of discount you're trying to create. For example, you can apply discounts based on dates and times. In this case, I'm going to apply a discount of $10 when the date is before December 25th. You can also apply a discount based on product quantity. For example, here I'm stating that if the quantity of all of the items in your customer's cart exceeds 10, then a 10% discount will be applied to the order total. In addition to quantity discounts, you can also create cost discounts. Using a similar if-then statement, I can apply a 20% discount to the item total if the total exceeds $50. So when we preview our form, and add enough products to exceed a total of $50, we'll receive 20% off. Well, that about wraps up this video, but coupons and discounts are a great way to engage your customers, and you can get pretty creative with how you use them. If you'd like some more information on this topic, you can check out our user guides at cognitoforms.com support, or get in touch with us directly by submitting a support request.